Well, the total hip replacement is actually one of the most successful surgical procedures we have today. People have been performing brilliantly after a total hip arthroplasty and have gotten back to their activities without pain or complaints. Uh, today we're going to talk specifically about a direct anterior approach, uh, which is one of the approaches that have been developed decades ago, however, is now back in vogue. I'm really excited about it as uh, people have been uh, reporting great outcomes uh, after the, uh, the rejuvenation of, of this approach. They did an anterior approach, went in and fixed me and did their magic. And the next day, actually, I left the hospital at three o'clock. I got up at, uh, well, they had me in occupational therapy at 7.30. And then I did a session of, at 9.30 of physical therapy and again at 2.15. And my therapist, I asked him if I did all right and he said, you passed. So they gave me my discharge orders and out the door I went. And believe it or not, I'm still working. So um, that was on a Thursday and Tuesday morning I was back at the office. Now with this direct anterior approach, we're really using a true internervous, intermuscular plane to, get act, to gain access down into the hip joint. Um, and what this means is we are not splitting, cutting, any muscles in order to get to the hip joint to perform the arthroplasty. Um, this in turn leads to less pain, a faster recovery, and less rehabilitation which always makes the patients much more excited about surgery. And the robotics part of this uh, technology really really allows us to uh, accurately place these uh, instrumentation um, without, with, with full confidence. Uh, and that's, that's great because all studies that are leading up to, to this point show implant positioning really, really is a big factor in the success of a total hip arthroplasty. And that's what we all aim for, whether we're going through the anterior approach, the lateral approach, or the posterior approach. We wish this was for everyone. Uh, usually we really look for cer certain characteristics of their anatomy, uh, certain uh, bony characteristics uh, in, in their x-rays and uh, this this helps us choose the optimal patient. Some patients do not really uh, fit the criteria and with the traditional approaches they'll do just as well. However with uh, patients that do fit the criteria they really really um, bounce out of bed after surgery and recover um, as we expect. It's very intriguing. I mean medicine has come so far it's it's so much faster in the anterior approach than the posterior and fortunately I was a candidate for that so very thankful. I mean I feel terrific. I feel like Dr. Wang gave me my, my life back really. There's always something better um, and something on the horizon but as, as it stands now we are on the cutting edge. We are using the least invasive techniques with the uh, robotics that gives us the most accurate information and if you put those two together and done correctly by the right surgeons and um, by the people who are um, taking care of you after the surgery and by the uh, physical therapists and the rehabilitation centers um, you can you can with good confidence say that you'll have a good experience for one and a good outcome for two.